Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Today we're talking about speed carbonation. Yes, carbonating your beer at crazy speeds. So don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. It's huge, I definitely appreciate it. If you haven't seen, Blickman makes a complete system and it's a really nice system. It includes a pump that looks very similar to this one, slightly different. It's got barbs that stick out a little further. It also has a piece that looks like this, which I'll take apart and show you exactly what's in there. So you can fully understand what we have going on here. Now, the one from Blickman is expensive. It's very nice and it's not without its issues. Short circuited brewing did a review on it quite a while back and you have to make some adjustments, some tightening, and you're gonna need some plumber's tape, which I'm pretty much gonna tell you no matter which one you, you use or make, you're gonna need some plumber's tape. So that's just the way it is. But they use a very similar pump to this except the barbs stick out a little further. It doesn't have the little wheels and you can clamp down, I think a little better actually, um, based on what kind of hose you're using. But their system does come with pretty much everything minus I think literally that or a wrench. So what I've done is I already had a very similar transfer pump. And if you already have the transfer kit, you know, with the nice stainless steel wand, or maybe you put it together yourself, and you have the pump or you have the pumps with the two wires and you got a 12 volt adapter that you can wire to and you're good with that, then great. You can actually build your own transfer system assuming that you have all the other little goodies for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, that's it. And I carbonated a gallon. I've said 12 minutes, I was trying to give a little leeway, but it took 10 minutes to carbonate an entire gallon of cider. And I had it around close to the 14. I pushed it all the way up to 16 PSI during the carbonation and it came out amazing. Just perfect. So I'm gonna go over all of this. I'm gonna zoom in on the camera because you don't need to see me as much as you need to see the equipment and understand how I hook this up. It's not hard. I'm not gonna say you're not gonna have to work out a few bugs. I'm not gonna say you might not need to buy another part or accessory. Um, the one I would recommend if you have everything would be these nice little Teflon rings and I'll show you where they go and what they do but the Teflon rings were huge they definitely helped and that's it but if you already have a transfer pump you're talking $20 and you can now carbonate an entire five gallon keg in under an hour easy so don't forget if you hate building things you hate buying parts and you just want to buy it complete Blickman makes a really nice system out there called a quick carb I don't know if that's trademarked or not, so we're just gonna call this speed carbonation, fast carbonation, whatever. Don't wanna step on anybody's toes. I love my Anvil, I like Blickman a lot. I like their equipment, they make some great products. But there's a lot of other companies coming out with similar things or making things like this. You can find it on, uh, we'll just say other websites. They're not complete. They're missing pieces or they're missing things that's gonna make it work properly. I haven't seen one as complete as Blickman and Blickman does make good products. So let me show you what we got. Okay, like I said, Blickman makes a complete setup that's really, really nice. It's got all the bugs worked out. But if you're really good with mechanical things and you can handle basic plumbing, you can do this. This isn't hard. There's tons of people who've done reviews on homemade systems that look just like the Blickman Quick Carb. But like I said, again, if you don't have the transfer pump, you don't have, like I have the Quick Transfer whole setup, it might be less headache, less frustration for you just to buy the whole setup. I'll make sure I leave li links for all the parts and for the Blickman setup. So if you decide, you know what, I don't want the hassle, I just wanna buy it complete and that way if I have a headache, I can call them and they can help me out because you know it includes some support and has warranties and things like that, then you know go for it. They make some great products. I have my Anvil, I love it. I have a nice Anvil kettle, I love that thing. They just make great products, so. But if you choose to build it yourself, I'm gonna go over it. First of all, if you have everything but the quick carbonation system that I'm showing here, then you're talking $20, maybe a little less because I've seen them for less. And I'm gonna leave this out so you can see exactly all the different parts. But essentially, this is your liquid out or line out, and they're both line out, one stainless steel with some brass, and yes, brass will change color when set in star sand for too long, so something to be aware of. But your liquid out comes around here, this is the arrow telling you which way it's going on this pump. Liquid comes in, comes back out here, goes into the little T. The T, the liquid then goes and comes back up and goes into the air system and gets dumped back into the keg. So of course, make sure your keg has already been purged and all it has is beer in there. So the difference is, is when you take this, 
which is a carb stone. And you put it into the tea. So you get your, and you can see it in there, there's the carb stone, okay? You put this on here and you tighten it up because you're gonna be under pressure. And then you put your liquid lines in here and here. What's gonna happen, and yes, as you see the white here, I didn't take it off yet, that's plumber's tape. I think it's a type of thin Teflon tape. You're gonna need that. I don't think the Blickman quick carb system comes with it. And I know none of them come with a pair of pliers or a wrench, but you're gonna need something like this to tighten everything up. And I will tell you, everything is gonna to need to be tightened a little bit more than you think. When I did the test, it leaked. Short Circuit Brewing did a really good review on the Blickman system, which is the quick carb system. And he had lots of little leaks on camera and probably some off camera. And he fixed those and he, he admitted that there were certain issues that had to be tightened a little more than he thought and a few adjustments that had to be made, which was great. So on this system, which I used to do an apple cider, and I said 12 minutes, I was being conservative. It really took about 10 minutes. I'm using nice durable, I don't know the millimeters, I'm sorry everybody on metrics, but this is 3 8 inch inside diameter, half inch outside diameter. It's very hard. It goes over this. And then after I slide it all the way on, which it's easier to get it really hot with some hot water, this cap, which of course is not cooperating now. Here we go. I'll tighten it on and then I'll push the cap over it and tighten it. Creates a little line so I know it's getting a good hold right there. Same thing over here. I have this on here. I tighten it up. This, you're gonna have to put your Teflon tape or your plumber's tape, wrap it around. Always wrap it kind of opposite direction. That way when you go to thread it, if it's going this way and you're threading it, you're fine. If you do it this way and you thread it, it can cause the Teflon tape to bunch or push off and you don't want that. You want a good seal. And if you take it apart to clean it, which I hope is pretty much every time, you're gonna need to take the Teflon tape off so you can get it all clean because you want a nice good coating of that Teflon tape before you put it back on. Or like I say, plumber's tape if it's not made of Teflon. Someone told me it was Teflon tape years ago and I've kind of stuck to it. Other item. This one you don't have to have, but I highly recommend it. And I'll try to find a link for where I got these things. I want to say I got them on Amazon, but I can't guarantee it. They are little seals. And I don't know if they're plastic or Teflon, but they go right there. They literally sit in that same spot that that's at. And if you have the stainless steel ones, and they're steel, same thing, sits in here. So if you have this type, you drop it in here and you tighten it on. Now, if yours are already barbed, your disconnects like this, and they're already barbed, you should be fine. But if they're screw on and they fit in, you don't do that because the liquid's gonna go down the spiral and leak. Yeah, I tried it, it doesn't work. So it's just something to be aware of. You're gonna need something like that so you can hook it on there and hook it on there properly. You shouldn't need any Teflon tape on these. I mean, they're really good. They seem to seal up just fine. They're designed to be on things like this. And this in between, I don't know why I needed it, but it definitely helped to avoid any kind of leaks or drips. Other thing you don't have to have, but I like it a lot, is this little, and I think it's called a soda carb or something like that. The reason I like it is that I can now take my CO2 from my keyser and I can just literally snap it on and rock on and disconnect it. And it's just a nice quick disconnect. I don't have to, you know, do the barbs, do the hose, tighten it all down, make sure it's good. Yeah, just snap and go. I mean, come on. That's what it's designed for. These I've seen for 11 to $13 each, but I have seen a pair out there for under $20 for a pair of them that come with extra O-rings, which is kind of nice, nice little bonus. It's always something good to put away so you have it down the road. Now, this system, when you go to carbonate, you're gonna want all this sealed up. You're gonna want your air, put it under pressure so that it actually comes in and creates some pressure and allows the beer to start moving up a little bit before you turn the pump on. Keep in mind, and no one seems to talk about this. I haven't seen Blickman talk about it for their quick carb system, and I haven't seen anyone else talk about it for their systems, but the CO2 needs to be at or above the same level as the pump system. If it is below, you'll get count backflow and some of the liquid will come down here. Even at almost 20 PSI, you'll have liquid coming in and you don't want that. So keep your CO2 higher than the pump or equal to. And I've noticed a lot of the people 
on the internet who have done similar systems have always had their systems on the ground and they were pulling CO2 from above, but not talking about why they're pulling the CO2 from above, which is definitely an important part that you need to be aware of. Take your beer, take your meat, well, if you're carbonating meat, I guess that's okay. Take your cider, whatever you're trying to carbonate, throw it in your keg, chill it down. I like mine at around 35 degrees Fahrenheit, but if you're in the 40s, that's fine too. Just chill your stuff down, leave it in there for 24 hours. The next day, then do your quick carb. I did a gallon in approximately 10 minutes. You can do five gallons in about 40 to maybe a little longer, maybe an hour. So either way, if it's about an hour, that's great. I would not ignore the system the first time. I would sit around, watch it just to make sure nothing goes wrong because if something goes wrong, you're gonna have a huge mess. The other thing is, is if you're doing anything between 10 to say 18 PSI, you're gonna wanna crank your PSI up on your pump about two and a half to three times, or two and a half to three points higher. So if you're trying for 12 PSI, you're gonna want 14 and a half to 15. If you're doing 18, you're gonna want 20 and a half to 21. If you're going anywhere over 20, you're gonna want three and a half to four. So if you're at 24, you're literally gonna to wanna to go all the way up to 27 and a half or even 28 PSI. Hopefully you're not going much over that. If you are, you're probably doing um, seltzer and hard seltzer definitely requires a lot. Another thing a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to carbonation. If you have a very thin beer or you're trying to do hard seltzer is a great example because I'm being told things of 34 to 40 PSI. There is nothing holding that CO2 or nothing helping hold the CO2 in suspension compared to some heavier beers that maybe have, you know, different types of like lactose and proteins and adjuncts that are floating around particles in there that the CO2 can stick to and bind to, to keep it from coming out of suspension. So if you have a light blonde ale, you might need to run this a little longer. If you have a stout, you actually might want to run it a little less. I, a good example is I had a Belgian golden ale and I had a oyster stout. Both of them were my quick carbonation system that I used before this, which was basically cranking it up to about 35 PSI and leaving it in the keg for three to four days and then turning it back down to where it needs to be. Well, when I was done, my lighter or we'll say thinner beer still needed about a day or two. My stout was actually over carbonated slightly, so I had to purge a little bit and bring it back down. So that's something to be aware of. A heavier beer is gonna carb a little faster and hold that carbonation in suspension. A thinner or more attenuated beer may need a little more extra CO2 or a little more time to get a little more into the suspension. Another big key, when you're completely done, let's say you've been doing a keg of your favorite pale ale or IPA, whatever it may be. And you say, you know what, I'm gonna do it for an hour. I want 12 PSI, I'm gonna do 14 and a half or 15 PSI, and I'm gonna run it for an hour. And you're done. First of all, that beer is so agitated right now. If you're gonna pull off some of that off the keg to try it, you're gonna have half carbonation, if not more. Give it about 10 to 20 minutes. You're still gonna have quite a bit of head on there, but you're gonna have a lot more beer. If you give it a good hour, you should be fine. Everything should be back to normal. It should be carbonated, it should taste great you're ready to rock and roll, share with friends, do whatever you want to do. Just something to be aware of that no one I've noticed about any quick carbonation systems have been talking about. They don't talk about the thinner or heavier beers helping to hold the CO2 in suspension. They don't talk about keeping the CO2 up a little higher. They don't talk about the agitation, although I will say, I believe it was Homebrew Challenge mentioned it, and I can't remember if Short Circuit had mentioned it, but they did mention that it was agitated. They didn't mention so much on the, you know, letting it wait a long time or anything like that, but those are things to be aware of. So, summary. If you already have the transfer system, this piece, with the carb stone, the connectors is 20 bucks or less, and you have everything else, I hope. If not, it's gonna cost you more. This. I've seen $20 where you have to hook up your own power supply, your own wires, $30 to $60, sometimes as high as $80. I will tell you that you can get on Northern Brewer, I wanna say this thing runs around 70 plus or minus 10 for the complete system, Midwest, same thing, and they are almost always out of stock. <laughs> I see that a lot. 
I got mine for a lot less, but it's been over a year ago and it was on a holiday sale. You can get the pump, you can get the wand, you can get all the hosing for less than what they're selling that as a kit if you're buying it in parts. But at the same time, like I said, if you're not mechanically engineered or you want to make sure you have someone to support it and guarantee that it's gonna keep working for a certain amount of time, just order from Blickman. It will cost you, I wanna say about 180 for everything. That does not include the transfer system. The transfer system, which is this, pretty much this piece and some hose, which really won't cost you much more. I mean, you could turn your Blickman quick carb system into a transfer pump by just adding a nice wand and a little bit of hose if you don't have the hose already. So that's another alternative too. I mean, what's the wand cost you? Less than $20? So you have different alternatives, different choices. My big thing is, is I'm not gonna turn around and buy a quick carb system and a transfer pump when it's all using pretty much the same type of pump system. When I can use one pump for multiple features and get more out of my value and get more for the dollar by taking something and using it for multiple jobs. I mean, are you gonna hire 20 people to do individual jobs when you could hire maybe four people that can do those 20 jobs and get them done and pretty much the same time because they all have to be done consecutively, not at the same time. So just something to be aware of. Just wanted to make sure I shared that. If you've already got this stuff, you're talking $20 and now you can quick carbonate your beer. If you don't have all the other equipment, your mileage may vary and you will have to buy some additional stuff. If you don't have the little soba soda, carbonator or whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, your mileage may vary. You don't have to have that, but I highly recommend it. I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just trying to share some things that hopefully will save you money and at the same time, give you ways to carbonate your beer very, very quickly. It's always nice that, hey, I just cold crashed my beer and now I've got to wait two weeks for it to carbonate, but I got friends coming over tomorrow. What can I do? Well, if you already had everything and you had this, you know what you can do and boom, you could have carbonated beer when your friends showed up the next morning, next afternoon, you know, whenever they call happy time or happy hour. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, thank you again for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing. And if, you know, this saves you time, saves you some money, if you carbonate your beer really quick without spending a ton of money, then great. If you want something already complete, ready to go, just order it. You can get it from Ventures and Home Brewing. You can get it from More Beer. There's so many companies out there selling and I'll make sure I put all the links down below for the quick carb system from Blinkman. Like I said, it comes with a warranty support. It's got a great product, but if you're looking to take what you already have and just expand on it for a little bit more money, you can build your own quick carbonation type system and be up and running literally in a matter of minutes. So just an alternative. Thank you again for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. The support is huge and definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much.